Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to more Animal Crossing New Horizons. Welcome back to Acorn, my new Animal Crossing island. And today is the day. Today is the day where we have another villager moving out of Acorn. This time it was Barreled. Barreled being one of the first villagers that Acorn ever had. Unfortunately, it was time to go. For those that are new to my channel or new to Audie's house is right here in front of this sign, which is really awkward, that are new to uh, what we're doing here, I am currently in the process of hunting for 10 squirrel villagers that I want on a brand new Animal Crossing island that I'm calling Acorn. As you can see, huge Acorn Lake here for the theme. And the theme, for the most part, is just to get a ton of squirrels that I think are really cool and put them on my new island where I plan on putting a bunch of tree houses and stuff. As you can see, I'm already in the process of terraforming and getting all that work done. But with Barreled being gone, you can see here there are really only three more non squirrel villagers that I need to move out. I need to move out Plucky. Audie, of course, from earlier, and Henry. But other than that, we already have six squirrel villagers, so we are on the way there. While I'm on the way to grab some tickets to do this hunt, a uh, little commentary about the hunting as of late. It's been pretty all over the place. If you've never villager hunted before, uh, sometimes you can do villager hunts where you go and try to find a villager you want, and it only takes like five to 10 tickets, which has certainly happened on this island already. Finding a couple of squirrel villagers that we wanted in the very beginning and just uh, under 10 tickets. And then sometimes it can take well over 100, which has certainly happened on this channel here before. I don't think I've gotten to a point where I needed to get anything more than 100 on any of the squirrel villagers for this island at the moment. I could be wrong, but I know that on my previous island, the like the longest villager hunt that I did was something like 500 plus tickets. And we haven't gotten there uh, with this island just quite yet. And fingers crossed that we don't get there at all. And to try and encourage that, I'm not going to pull many more tickets than this. This is already well over 100. And the idea is to not get to beyond 100. I mean, that's the overall goal, hopefully. If we do, as you can see, I, I still have quite a few that I can use. A uh, little over 100 still left in my inventory. So, I mean, I still need to hunt for four more squirrels, including the one I'm doing today. So the chances of us being able to spread all those over 200 plus tickets is slim, but doable. And before we get started, as always, need to drop my ladder, make sure that we don't end up having to climb to go see any of these villagers. Yeah, just... Place it right there, that's fine. As always with these villager hunts, ladies and gentlemen, if you take a look in the upper right hand corner of the video, you will see a little ticket counter that I've created to show you all basically what ticket we're on. If you ever want to know just how far we are into the villager hunt at that point, because it's really easy to lose track of how many villagers you've seen, be sure to look in the upper right hand corner. That way you can see just how long this whole process has taken up until that point. All right, everyone. Well, without further ado, like I said before, four more squirrels we need to get to and they're not gonna certainly hunt for themselves. So let's get on to the squirrel villager hunt. Squirrel number seven, let's go to ticket number one. First ticket of this villager hunt, and we are seeing Chief. I've been saying lately that I've been pretty good at getting the villager names down correctly, but uh, admittedly with the winter gear on, it's gonna be kind of difficult to see what some of them look like without looking at more of their distinct features. You know, you would think after all this time that I would be pretty, uh, pretty tired of villager hunting up until this point. Uh, and Akati, is that who you are? Yeah, well, I got that one right. Uh, but admittedly, after all these villager hunts that I've done over like three islands at this point, I just cannot help myself. It is the only like mini game really that is in this game and not even really, right? Because yeah, you're like kind of gambling on tickets, every, you know, by going to see who's there, but it's not, it's not really a mini game and they don't really call it that. But yeah, it's the, it's the only like form of major entertainment I can get out of this game in regards to finding another game inside the game. Oh, uh, ticket number three is Maple. Once again, if it weren't for an all squirrel island, I'd be taking all cubs. You know, every time I see a cub, I say that, that if I wasn't going to be doing an all squirrel island, I would be doing an, an all cub island. I, I'm curious. I know that we're still fairly early in the villager hunt, but I would love to know from you guys, uh, if you don't already have an island that is full of the same species of villager, what species of villager would you want to have as an all species island? Like on Acorn, we're doing all squirrels. On my previous island, I was doing all koalas. Uh, which one would you like? Or rather, a better question, what would you, which one would be one that you wouldn't want to do? 
Let me know in the comment section down below. Probably gonna start some problems with everyone's favorite species type, but that's all right. <laughs> when it's got their own opinion. I always like to try and guess before I get to the villager what their name is. Obviously, this is not a squirrel, but I'm gonna talk to you anyway. Barbara. How could I forget Barbara? Five tickets down, running into a lot of blue villagers, which is uh, which is really cool. I can't remember who you are though. Rooney. Oh yeah, also, so I know that we are already five tickets in, but I wanted to, I, I think I forgot to show who exactly we're looking for. Uh, for this particular plot, we are looking for one of four squirrels. It's Filbert, Caroline, Mint, and Poppy. Those are the four squirrels that I would like to get. We may run into more squirrels that aren't these four. And if we do, I, that'll just have to be okay. We'll just have to skip past them because I really want the four villagers that I just showed. So that is the plan. If we if we run into another squirrel, that's kind of cool. That would be nice. But for the most part, as much as possible, I'm going to stick to my list and try to get one of those four no matter what. Ticket number six is Phoebe, one of, uh, one of my old island starter villagers. Pretty sure this is ticket number seven. I hope I haven't messed up the count this early in the oh, in the hunt. Stitches. Oh, man. So speaking of old island starter villagers, Stitches wasn't a starter villager, but he was one on my island previously that I had held for so long until Faith, the 10th and final koala was introduced, at which point I let go of everybody in exchange for all the koalas. I miss Stitches. If you have a Stitches on your own island, I highly recommend putting him in a uh, the paper crown and the child's cape outfit that you can get. He looks adorable in that outfit. I was actually sitting here wondering when I was going to run into Stitches as it's been a long time. Ticket number eight, first Anteater, Annabelle, Annalisa, Anna something, Annabelle. This villager hunt actually came at a pretty good time. I'm currently in the process of, yep, <laughs> a camo alligator. Uh, currently in the process of recording uh, a, a, a lot of Stardew Valley content. Uh, so that is a video that I plan on recording and finishing recording, hopefully before the end of the week and then recording and editing and, and all that good stuff should be done. So this is a nice break from it because I've been doing basically nothing but that for the last few days. So this has been nice, but ticket number nine is not it. You are officially 10 tickets down and Bud is going to be our friend on ticket number 10. I see another blue villager, but I also see two tall and I also see a rhino. That's a really nice, uh, that's a really nice rhino though. Nice blue. Azalea. The thing I just noticed about Azalea is that her horn, the design of it with the yellow and the white, it looks like a daisy. I'm pretty sure it's a daisy, but that's so cool. I never noticed that before. See, it's villagers like Azalea that put some of the other villagers' designs to shame. Because you see designs like that or like meringue, and then you go to some of the more like simpler looking villagers, and it's just like, oh man, where did <laughs> where did the creativity go? Uh normally they're standing by the campfire on uh, bubbles. 13, 13, pretty sure this is 13, and I see, oh, oh I see a squirrel, but, well, but wait a minute, I don't think, unfortunately, that is, nope, that is not a squirrel that I was looking for. Again, it was Filbert, Caroline, Mint, and Poppy, and I did mention that if we did run into another squirrel, there was a very, very big chance that we were just going to simply acknowledge their existence and then leave them. Tasha, now that I'm looking at Tasha, is actually really cool. Uh, for those that know, obviously I'm a sucker for blue villagers. Tasha's design is actually really nice because her tail is a bit different from the other squirrel villagers. It, instead of having this line that goes through it, it just looks more like a gigantic blue poof is at the end of it. Uh, I actually ran into Tasha, I believe, on the same villager hunt that I ended up taking, Sylvana. It may have been flip-flopped which ones I ran into for Tasha or who, or who I, exactly I ran into, but I did make this call the other day. I ran into a squirrel very early on and then I decided to leave them and stick to my list and ended up paying off and getting Sylvana. So even though Tasha is really, really cool, when I went through the list of squirrel villagers, Tasha did not make it onto the final 10, not like the others did. And so uh, we will leave Tasha here for now and hope that our squirrel luck continues and doesn't take that much longer, but we'll see. Sometimes this means that also we won't run into a squirrel for like another 90 tickets, but I, I guess we'll just have to wait and find out. I also guess if you can see how long this video length is, you can probably tell uh, how much longer uh, it goes until we run into one. Well, let's see how much that decision comes back to bite us. Uh, obviously not a squirrel, but I do like this eagle's design. I'm not going to talk to all of the villagers because that just adds 
way too much time, but I will do my best to try and name them off for those that are just kind of like half paying attention to the hunt. It was an eagle with some crazy designs and I can't remember its name, uh, but if you remember it, uh, very cool. Uh, speaking of koalas, is that Eugene or Ozzy? Let me, t I think it's Ozzy. One of my favorite koala villagers, definitely up there in my top probably three or five with Lyman. Lyman, of course, being number one. Good to see you again, Ozzy. That's also another part of villager hunts that I enjoy at this point. Now that I've done so many, and now that I've had so many villagers on my islands, I do love going to these mystery islands and seeing uh, who shows up. This is a crazy bell bottom Zydeco. This is stovetop glockenspiel. Oh, is it the 16th? Nope, I don't think, uh, unfortunately, I don't think that this is going to be it, but I can't remember. Callie. Yep, no wonder, no wonder there was something about the excitement that I knew wasn't sitting right by me. Callie has such a strange, but also very interesting design. Uh, when I saw Callie on the list of squirrels that I could get, I think the thing that did it for me, unfortunately, was the very large eyes i think there's nothing wrong with the huge big pink cheeks but there's something there's something about the elongated tall eyes that i think got to me otherwise callie's kind of cool and yeah if callie was a blue villager there would be a chance that i'd be taking callie but man two squirrels already on this villager hunt and not one of the four that we are wanting but that is a fingers crossed hopefully good sign so Hopefully we'll run into one soon. Inevitably though, as this happens, uh, I'll run into so many early on and then I probably won't run into one for another like 60 tickets. 17 is Lobo, I believe. Thought that was Barbara again. Number 18 is Stella. So I just kind of had this thought randomly while I was on the way here. Uh, wouldn't it be so cool if there were like two villagers on the island whenever you did this? Like thematically, they'd be here hanging out, but you could choose at, like one of the two villagers to take it would it would increase your chances of getting a villager that you want obviously because you're seeing more of them but in addition to that i just think it would be so cool to see i mean the the, the islands are already abandoned uh it would be nice to see them with another villager because then it wouldn't feel so abandoned and, and alone but in addition you could also get really lucky and get two villagers that you want although you wouldn't be able to take both because you'd only have one plot available so I guess it works, but only only if you like the idea of being able to increase your chance of getting a villager you like and you don't hate the idea of running into two that you like and only being able to take one. Another gator on ticket number 19. I think that might be Al. So I just looked it up. It was kind of almost there. That was Alfonso. Al is a gorilla. And I knew there was an Al in there somewhere, though. So what should be ticket 20, as long as I didn't mess up the count at all, looks to be a... Oh, it looks to be Coach. Goose is our friend on ticket number 21. Oh no, I saw every time I see a small villager, the only thing that I'm really looking at at that point is, what does the tail look like? And unfortunately, not a big tail because it's a duck because it is pate. What's up, pate? It could also be pate, but I there's no accent over the E. It's just, I don't know. I say pate. Uh, I love pate. I love pate's color scheme. I love it all. If anything, if, if you know, if... Uh, if Callie had this kind of color scheme with the blue and then the pink cheeks still, I think I probably would have taken Callie. 23rd ticket is a Anteater and a Snooty. <laughs> I don't know. Whenever I see an Anteater now, I just automatically default to an Anna name, even if I can't really see them. Oh, hey, Bamboo Island. That's the first time we've run into it in 24 tickets. That's pretty cool. And I see a squirrel that is Agent... S. Uh, Agent S being one of my very first uh, amiibo card villagers that I ever tried. So that's really exciting. That's really cool. Uh, once again, though, not on the list of villagers that I uh, that I have prepped for this villager hunt, uh, but three squirrels already on this hunt thus far. Not bad. Not bad. Hopefully our fourth one can be one that we really want, but it's nice to see Agent S again. Well, at this point, what do you think? Do you think we'll get one of the four squirrel villagers that I want before the end of the video? Or before the end of 100 tickets, rather? I mean, I'm hoping that I get one of those before the end of the video, but also, like I've said before, I've had villager hunts go into 500 tickets before, so uh, we shall see. If this does go over 100, though, there might be a part two. But yeah, I generally don't like to do villager hunts that are greater than 100 tickets. Uh, I think that is Vic. 
Uh, and so if this does get to 100 plus tickets, we will more or less just see how much longer I am willing to go for. But fingers crossed it doesn't take that long. Another duck. Joey. I like Joey as well, too. Just the just straight up dot eyes. <laughs> and if it weren't for cubs, I think I would want to do a duck island. So squirrels, if not squirrels, then cubs. And if not cubs, then ducks. No way. Ticket number 27 is Alice. <laughs> Another koala. Well, I can't for the most part say that this hasn't been an enjoyable villager hunt uh, for me thus far. I know that we're not taking any of these villagers home, obviously, but it is part of the experience that I said before that I enjoyed, which is to see some of the older villagers. Uh, I don't know why it is, but I really do like coming to these islands and seeing them. Again, even though we're not taking them, it does make the entire experience of villager hunting uh, a little bit more pleasant. Seeing duplicate villagers that you don't like or seeing a ton of villagers that you don't want does unfortunately make this whole thing feel a little bit more tedious and a little bit behind the, the curtain here, I guess. Uh, for every ticket that you see in these villager hunts, because I know that I cut them down to be pretty short, for every ticket that you see done, with this whole animation of going back home and talking to Orville and, and all this stuff about getting to the island, it takes about two and a half to three minutes per villager that I see on these mystery islands. So even though right up until this point, uh, the video is probably only gone for maybe about 10 to 15 minutes, maybe less than that. As of now, I've been recording for almost an hour. Uh, so yeah, a little peek behind the curtain of how long these villager hunts do take and certainly why I can see and empathize with a lot of people who do not want to do this. It is a, it is quite a process. Admittedly though, one thing I was thinking of was if I had a kid, this would actually be a fun activity to do with uh with my kid just be you know just go around see like who's this villager kind of like who's this pokemon it's whitney right no fang oh see i already got it wrong <laughs> i just looked up whitney right now too and i yeah i was it was way off bamboo island was pretty nice last time how nice is it today bamboo island was nice last time how nice is it now it is not it is lucha 30 tickets down pan Panchette, pan, pan something, it's a pig. Pretty sure that's Panchetti, Pancetti. Number 31 is our good buddy, Bruce. Ticket number 32, I can already see the Donkey Kong gorilla. We're just gonna move on. Not looking for a rhino named Rhonda. More like Rongda. Big mouse ears. Ticket number 34 is Greta. Is that, no, that's not Panchetti again but it is another pig. Bamboo Island with another squirrel villager? Nope, <laughs> not this time. Oh, first time on Money Rock Island this hunt, which is a bad sign. Oh, except not this time, not really. Anka on Money Rock Island. Well, this is a combination of two things that I would never ever have gotten a long time ago. A cool kind of awesome looking villager and a really poor island that I've always had pretty bad luck on. Anka has always been one of my favorite design villagers, and if I was doing just a straight up, hey, who's the coolest design villagers island? Anka would definitely be on there. Probably number one. Ticket number 38. Big cuddly bear 2-2. Two -two. Been getting this island a lot, but that happens when you shrink down the amount of islands you can go to by dropping your ladder. Number 39 is Nox. 40 tickets in. Not a, the biggest number with all the tickets that we have, but it's still definitely a big number. And as you can see, 40 tickets is uh, not going to be it. We continue on. Bud again, first duplicate of the hunt on ticket number 41. Not bad, but it couldn't have been like a squirrel or something. <laughs> Looks like another bear on ticket number 42, and it certainly is a uh, grizzly. No first monkey of this hunt. Number 43 is uh, Elise. At least I'm pretty sure this is the first monkey of the hunt. After 43 tickets, uh, they all start kind of they'll start kind of blending together each of these trips. 44 is Tony the Tiger Rowan. OK, Bamboo Island, you've been pretty cool so far and you're going to give me Megan on this ticket. So I take that back. Oh, no way. Wait a minute. Oh, I think this might be unless you are Melba. Yeah. OK, cool. Well, third uh, koala on this hunt. Not bad. At least you aren't Alice. I'm not looking for tons of duplicates. I <laughs> really like to not spend tickets on duplicates, but Melba is always nice to run into. It makes me miss the koalas on my island, honestly. 
It makes me almost wish that we had the ability to rename our island names because obviously I have this one named Acorn after the fact that I'm getting all you know a full squirrel island but i didn't have an all koala island on diamond at first and i think after i got one i would have wanted to rename it to something a little bit more koala e like this one's named acorn because of all the squirrels i think for the koalas i could have named it like eucalyptus or something that's a bit extravagant but you get the idea i wish we could have uh renamed it and uh yeah ticket number 47 is a uh, lion and i can't remember that lion's name i want to say mott or leopold or something but yeah being able to talk to isabel to be able to rename your island would have been super cool it probably would have been really expensive but still would have been awesome tia is our ticket number 48 very cool and I think I would also put Tia on my Anka really cool designed villagers island. When I really think about it, I'm not quite sure how many how many villagers are on that list. I know Anka and Tia obviously off the top of my head. I would need eight more and I'm not sure who the other eight would be to fill that spot. But Tia, as of right now, is definitely one of them. On number 49 is Kiki. Whenever I see Kiki, all I think about is... Uh, it's a Studio Ghibli movie for some reason. Pretty sure I'm thinking of Kiki's Delivery Service, even, be even before the name Kiki, but I, maybe I, I'm not the only one. I cannot remember what the cat's name was in Kiki's Delivery Service. Well, apparently the cat's name in Kiki's Delivery Service was Gigi. We're not exactly halfway done yet, but 50 tickets is still a pretty good milestone. I know I brought it up on 40, but 50 is still a lot and not a great one on number 50 kangaroo villager so looking at our ticket count here we still have 30 40 50 60 70 80 88 tickets left to go uh so 138 will be the overall limit of this video as of right now i have no intentions of going and getting more for this particular video if it were to get to that point so if we do get 238 tickets and we still have not found one of the four squirrels that we were looking for then we will plan currently to move into another day of villager hunting kind of like how i've done before no ticket number 51 is not pancetti again peggy and now we get to a point in the villager hunts where you kind of start trying to figure out which animal species you haven't run into at this point obviously i haven't run into any of the octopus villagers one of the four I'm trying to think of which other ones. I don't think I run into a dog yet either. Yeah, looking at the list of villager species that are available in the game, uh, I think the ones that I haven't run into are rabbit, maybe goat, hamster, definitely, and octopus. Bamboo Island, you gonna fix that now? Oh, penguin. Well, that's, that's a species that I completely forgot about. First penguin of the hunt as well too. What's up, Tex? Here we go. Now we're just starting to run into all of the villagers that I said we weren't running into, or at least the species types. Tiffany is our first uh, rabbit. I never know. Is it rabbits or bunnies in this game? It looks like it's rabbits. And yep, here we go. Lucky the dog. Our first dog villager is a very good one. Good to see you again, Lucky. Again, another oldie friend villager that I had on Diamond before it went all koalas. Good to see you again, Lucky. Well, almost as if the game heard me, it is now just giving me all of the species types that I had just mentioned we are not running into. So if we are going to go full conspiracy, then hey, it would be great to run into one of the squirrels that I asked for. Let's see if it heard. Money Rock Island. So probably not. Uh, and definitely not. Well, now that you're here, I can figure out who you are from before. Elvis. I said Mott or Leopold earlier. I had, an, I, I had a feeling, Elvis. Uh, and now there we go. Confer confirmed Elvis. Ticket number 55. I saw a chicken on the way in and ticket number 55 is Benedict. Ticket 56. Gruff. It's been a while since we've run into a goat. And now that I think about it, that was actually the first goat we've run into as well too on this hunt. So that was uh, one of the species that I had forgotten about, which is, which is awful because Sherb is a goat and Sherb is one of my favorites. Hello, Money Rock Island again. Running into you quite a bit lately. And who do we have here? Ah, another kangaroo. I want to say Rooney. Ticket 58. Are you Leopold? Hey, Leopold. I got you mixed up with a uh, with a singer earlier. Kevin Bacon. Number 59. I know his name isn't Kevin Bacon. It's just Kevin. But I can't help it whenever I run into Kevin. He just... Come on, he's a pig. It's Kevin Bacon. I guess I just really hope that Kevin Bacon himself doesn't take <laughs> offense to that. Where are they? They're usually, if they're not over here, they're usually behind this cliff somewhere. Am I going to be proven wrong here? I certainly am. There we go. Oh, no way. Fauna. I've always had a soft spot for Fauna. Her, I don't know. She's just, it's kind of a more simplistic deer design, but at the same time, I kind of like that. There's something a little bit 
kind of charming about just how how simple her design is. It's nice. I think any island could benefit from having a fauna on their island. Even if you're not doing like a theme or anything like that, I, I just think fauna is that nice. Saw a little purple on the way in, and the purple wasn't because of the villager, it was because of the dress. Hi, Bubbles. Again. I see Poncho is here on ticket number 62. Once again, I saw I saw the little little design and I thought maybe a squirrel. I, we haven't seen a squirrel in a while now, it feels like. Poncho's great. Can't be too greedy now. We've seen three squirrels, so it's not like the game hasn't given us an opportunity to take a squirrel home. It's just, man, it's an Fortunate that it hasn't been one of the four that uh, that I'm looking for. And looking at the count of how many squirrels there are versus how many I have, and of course how many I want, it looks like of the four squirrels that I want, there are, in addition to that, there are eight other squirrels uh, that are available to me that I can get instead of the four that I want. So the odds of me getting one of the four that I want versus the other eight that are available is obviously, you know, that's pretty slim. But, uh, you know, we've already run into three of them, so I like to think that our chances of finding one of the other four is not that far off. Which is more just me trying to stay positive and not having this go to 100 plus tickets. I see a little orange, and I'm not going to get it wrong this time. That is Alfonso, not Al. Thank you for the second chance. I really wish I didn't have to have to get a second chance, but yeah, that's Alfonso. Well, second time we get a penguin at, uh, at Bamboo Island. Hopper. And if this is going to become a pattern, I'd like this to to stop right now. We have on ticket 65, I see a chicken walking away from me, Brofina. Ah, ticket 66, Freya. Very nice, very nice villager. The more we see the wolf villagers, I have to say, not bad, not bad. I still, I still only really like villagers that are like shorter than the Animal Crossing character that you have for some reason. But the wolves are pretty cool, the more that I see them. Ticket 67 on this villager hunt, Boris. We have another duck on ticket number 68, Freckles, which it is always so weird how far apart Freckles' eyes are. I know that they made room for the Freckles on <laughs> Freckles' face, but, oh man, I don't know, it's kind of weird. No offense, Freckles. Funny ticket number, do we have any luck on you? Nope. Funny ticket number leads to funny villager with underwear on its head kind of is what puddles always looks like to me sorry if i ruined puddles for anybody but doesn't it doesn't it look like puddles just like took underwear and put it on her head ticket 70 is oh i thought it was megan again i think that's ursula though <laughs> i think this is biscuit uh you know I, I as of now i would kind of put biscuit on the list of cool design villagers i don't know why but the fact that they decided to just make Biscuit's eyes straight up circles and the green striped ears and stuff, it's it's out there. It's different, and I like it. Well, it's been a while since we've run into a cat. Ticket number 72, kitty. <laughs> and, now, and now we're just going to run into to cat villagers the entire time. But Lolly is actually a really, really great one. Well, ticket number 74 being Eric is awesome. Uh, Eric is another, another old villager of mine. Uh, definitely loved having Eric, and I think I had Eric and Fauna on my island at the exact same time. That was a great combination of villagers to have. 75, I thought that was Lucha again. Jacob. Well, 75 tickets in, so of 100, we are about three quarters of the way down. Uh, obviously, I have way more than that, but uh, at 75 tickets in, I would say that thus far, my evaluation of this hunt is, uh, it's been all right. It's been all right. Uh, I know that I, uh, with, with having had so many villagers in the past, I will inevitably run into more villagers that I used to have on my island than before. But again, considering that I, I like to run into some of the older villagers sometimes, this has actually not been a bad one. Rather run into a lot of the old villagers that I used to have than a ton of new villagers that I have seen numerous times that I do not want. Oh, darn it. Ticket number 76. Zoe, been running into a lot of anteaters today, have to say. Is that Donkey Kong Gorilla again on ticket number 77? Oh, well, well there's Al. Actually, Al this time. Wow, how many times can you run into Bud on this villager hunt? Number 78 is Bud. Oh my goodness. Just quick math here. 78 tickets in, we've run into Bud. I think this is three times now. Uh, what is that? Every 26 tickets or something like that, we run into Bud, which is absolutely insane. Let the duplicates continue, at least on ticket number 79. As hilarious as it would be to get another villager duplicate here, I'm 
It's probably going to be one we've never gotten before. An even better one would be one of the squirrel villagers that I would like. And it's Shino. What a great villager to run into. Well, I'm glad that it wasn't one that we've run into before. And I'm glad that it was Shino, one of the brand new 2.0 villagers. Still probably my favorite of the new villagers. And yeah, let's throw her on the list with Anka and Tia and Biscuit as well. I'm kind of like building a second island while also doing this villager hunt. It's kind of fun. Ticket number 81 is, are you Klaus? Of recent memory, I think this is one of the villager hunts where I've definitely run into more bears than anything else it feels like. I feel like I run into a lot of them. Number 82 is Fang once again. Oh, Bamboo Island. You started off so promising this hunt and it's been nothing but disappointment since. And it is going to continue getting tank on ticket number 83. Not that tank's bad, just not what we're looking for. Ticket number 84 is Tipper. Who do we have on number 85 as well? Uh, it's been a while since we've run into an elephant, I think. I said, uh, now that I think about it, I'm wondering if elephant was another one of the villagers that I, or villager species that I I think we haven't run into yet. It may be the first elephant, but I can't remember. Oh, that's a, that's a nice villager to run into. I thought it was lucky again. Uh, Bones. Bones is not bad either. I'm surprised I honestly didn't gravitate towards just a lot of the dog villagers. I've been such a dog person in real life for so long. Every time I see the blue, it's not a bad, not a bad blue. I, I really like, uh, oops, I didn't mean to shake it and get an item out of this, but <laughs> a cardboard box. Well, that's not really exciting. Uh, Sprinkle is ticket number 87. Claude, ticket number 88, always reminds me of Charlie Brown because the like swooshy hair in the middle of his face. Ticket number 89 is... So I ended up looking this up during the like intermission between islands. This is Avery, which we, of course, ran into earlier in the uh, in the video. One thing that's kind of funny with these villager hunts is... And I don't know if this has been a little bit more obvious as I as I keep on doing these more and more and more. Uh, but one thing that I've, I've always thought was kind of funny was... Even though there's over 400 villagers, and when you subtract the villagers that you get on your own island... Even though there's like 390, almost 400 plus after that point... It doesn't feel like there's that much with how often, <laughs> how often, especially I run into uh, duplicate villagers. It just feels like there's like under a hundred villagers because I run into, like even in this one, I've run into Bud three times, I'm pretty sure. Uh, that's insane given the odds it is to run into any single one of them. But I guess that's just, uh, that's just my luck. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure the count is correct. This is 90 tickets down. Did I see a green villager? I sure did. I, and this is Jitters, the crazy coffee bird. Oh no, ticket number 91, we've definitely run into you earlier. I'm gonna try to remember your name. Are you Tiffany? No, Monique. Okay, well, we didn't run into you earlier. We ran into, well, someone who reminds me of, of you. All right, we're getting pretty close to 100 tickets at this point. And again, historically, either I, I, I'm gonna find a villager really close to 100 tickets or it's gonna go beyond 100 and there is a good chance that my luck is gonna dictate that this hunt goes well beyond that. Oh no, 92 is, uh, we ran into Nox earlier, which means that this would be, uh, this would be Sterling. And if not Sterling, then I, then I mix them up and it's the other way around. Coach again! Well, this time you're not wearing your winter outfit, but this is what I'm talking about. All the duplicates. Always duplicates. Give me a squirrel. That'd be great to see. It doesn't even have to be one that I want. Ah, Camo Frog. This is where we start getting into the five stages of, uh... Of villager hunting. I'm not sure exactly which stage I'm at, but it sounds like I'm in the bargaining stage where I just, where, where now I'm just simply asking for squirrel villagers to show up uh, no matter well, which one they are. 95. Another gorilla. Don't be a duplicate. I see a bird and you are Sandy. Well, not a bird. Like it is a bird, but it's also like not a bird in the game, but it is. Number 97. Another cat. Uh, that is going to be Rudy on number 97. 98. Oh man, uh, Willow, highlighter explosion sheep that I always, that I always, uh, that I always bring up whenever I see her. Number 99 is another sheep, but this time it's, uh, I believe this is Frida, the, the hamburger sheep. Yep. Hamburger and hot dog sheep. All right. Well, after 99 tickets and only one more down to go until we reach 100, uh, I think what I'm going to do is we're just going to see who the next one is and see how much more we want to do because I have been villager hunting now for 
again as i mentioned earlier if you want to keep track of this it's for every one ticket i'm basically uh, going between islands it takes about two to three minutes uh as of right now give or take i've been recording this whole process for about the last two hours and 45 minutes almost three hours plus at this point so yeah we'll get to ticket 100 as you saw i i would have about 37 tickets left afterwards assuming i didn't get the count wrong so we'll see. Maybe we'll get lucky right here. We don't have to worry about that. I'm really hoping for not a duplicate. I'm at this point just hoping for any new villager. Still in the bargaining phase. Ticket number 100 is going to be... Oh no, ticket number 100 is Lily. Once again, I thought maybe there was a chance that it was a squirrel because I saw how small she was. But Lily is number 100. Not a bad one to get on, on 100, have to say. Well, all right, everyone, that was 100 tickets down. And unfortunately, we ran into three squirrel villagers. Not any single one of them it was one of the ones that we wanted. But unfortunately, I have a pretty addictive personality. And I don't know, I just can't, I can't end it on that note. So what we're going to do is we're going to use maybe one or two more tickets and see. Maybe there's a chance that we won't continue this into the next day. But yeah, if for whatever reason, and by whatever reason, I mean just my luck is that bad. If we can't find one of the four squirrel villagers that we were looking for today, then what I'll do is I will simply just keep that plot open and uh, we'll continue this villager hunt uh, into, into tomorrow. And as you saw, I think I do have well over at least 100 tickets at that point if I only do two today, two more today. Well, here we go. Ticket number 101 would be so funny if this ended up being it. Ticket number 101 on this villager hunt is... <gasps> no way. All right, wait a minute. Hold on a second. I have to double check and see. Pecan. <laughs> oh my goodness. So Pecan was admittedly one of my starting uh, squirrel villagers that I wanted until I saw Nibbles. Uh, Nibbles wasn't necessarily on the list at first, but when I saw Nibbles, I decided to go ahead and check the list one more time and see if there was one more villager that I wanted instead because I was thinking of just ending the hunt right there. And what I did was I removed Pecan for Nibbles. Well, looking at the list, and I know that I said I would stick to this pretty heavily. Filbert, Caroline, Mint, and Poppy were the four. I think I'm not going to move on Filbert. I don't think I want to move on Mint. I think Mint is really, really cool. I like Mint's color scheme. And I don't think I want to move on Poppy either. I think Poppy is an adorable squirrel villager. I love her outfit. I love her color scheme. And I think Poppy is one that I'm definitely going to want to keep. The last one, though, was Caroline. And admittedly, Caroline is a nice villager. I really like how bright and red and yellow she is. But, I mean, Pecan was on there originally, too, because Pecan to me, kind of gives off the same vibe as Poppy for some reason. And I think it more has to do with how she's dressed more so than anything. Pecan is snooty, Poppy is normal. But you know what? This I'm going to go ahead and take as a sign because I was kind of just okay on Caroline. And to be honest, I was kind of just okay on Pecan. But now that we're seeing Pecan again, I think I'm going to go ahead and ask Pecan to move in and be the one to take over Barreled's spot. Come to my island. And there you go. 101 tickets down. I'm pretty sure it was 101. It could be off by a little bit. So this may just be ticket number 100 or at worst 102. But best decision ever. And you won't regret. I feel like the game is talking to me <laughs> when it's saying this one. Best decision ever. And there we have it. Pecan will take over as squirrel number seven on Acorn. Life is funny like that. Sometimes it hands you a present out of the blue. Yep. Or after 100 plus tickets. And as always, once we get done with the villager hunt, we always have to double check and make sure that we we did end up actually asking them to move in. I know at this point it would be a little bit too late because obviously if there's no sold sign, then it's not like we can just go back and ask them. But we should be good. I'm pretty sure I went through all the prompts correctly. I hate how close Audie's house is to this. Here we go. This spot reserved for Pecan's new home. Oof, and that'll do it. As I was saying right at the very end there, yeah, this villager hunt around this time, usually for 100 tickets, takes about three 
three-ish hours and what a way to end it doing doing the classic just one more ticket routine who would have thought that that would have ended up getting us a, a squirrel villager that at the end yes we wanted not really but also it's not like it's uh it was a bad choice i i definitely would have taken pecan over some of the ones i saw earlier definitely but for now, everybody, thank you all so much for joining me on another fantastic 100 plus ticket villager hunt. As long as these villager hunts go, I cannot say that I'm still not entirely addicted to 100 plus ticket villager hunts. As I mentioned before, it is probably the only real mini game ish that I found in this game. And it's one that definitely keeps me coming back, especially uh, now that I keep on uh, now that I've been more or less working on acorns uh, overall design and of course if you are a fan of villager hunts uh, this is just another thing you have to do so it's not like i i hate putting the time in to uh to do this sure i could always buy them but at the end of the day this is just way more fun but for now everybody thank you all so much for watching i hope that you all enjoyed and i hope that you had fun with me today if you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos from me in the future be sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button on the video always helps until next time everybody have a wonderful and safe day thank you all so much once again for your support and until next time, folks, have a good one. I'll see you next time. Bye.